Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about trading pairs and how they work on cryptocurrency exchanges. As you can see, I've loaded up my Shrimpy application, I've navigated over to the trading tab, and I'm currently looking at the Litecoin USDT trading pair. What that means is I'm looking at a market where people are trading between Litecoin and USDT. As you can see on the left hand side here, we have order books. These are the individual orders that people have placed on the order book in order to either buy or sell Litecoin at specific prices. In the middle here, we have the chart. This shows the price of LTC over time in terms of USDT. And we have the trading history. These are the individual trades that have been executed on the exchange for this trading pair. On cryptocurrency exchanges, a single base and quote currency are used for a trading pair. In this case, Litecoin would be the base currency and USDT would be the quote currency. When you want to trade between these two assets, you would have to navigate to this trading pair to execute the trades between Litecoin and USDT. So essentially that means when you buy Litecoin, you are selling USDT in order to buy that Litecoin. When you are selling Litecoin on this trading pair, you are selling Litecoin in order to buy USDT. Notice that all of the prices that are currently on this page are in terms of USDT, which is the quote currency. That's because Litecoin is quoted in terms of USDT. Of course, there are many different options for trading pairs on many exchanges. Since we're on Binance, you could see all of the different quote currencies we have. For each of these quote currencies, we have different base currencies that we can trade between these two assets. So say I wanted to pick the BNB ADA pair. What this means is I can buy and sell ADA and BNB across this trading pair. So that means if I have BNB, I can sell it directly to ADA. And if I have ADA, I can sell that ADA in order to buy BNB. This direct relationship allows people to trade between specific different assets without having to go through other asset pairs. Let's go ahead and look at another asset pair. Let's say we want to look at Ethereum based pairs. We can look at Ethereum Dash here. And similar to the other assets, uh, Dash would be considered the base currency and Ethereum would be considered the quote currency. As you can see on this graph, the price is decreasing over time. This means that relative to Ethereum, the price of Dash is decreasing. This is important to know and is useful for trading because this provides a variety of different options of how you can trade from one asset to another asset. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this was helpful in explaining how trading pairs work on cryptocurrency exchanges. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're always happy to help. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.